start. There. Hello again, welcome back to Legally Cited. This is BGFH, back again for another iOS app video. And today I want to show you the mobile version, the iOS version of Steam. So let's jump right in. Steam. Alright, got it loaded up here. Steam. So, uh, I haven't gotten a chance to really show you the um, desktop client all that much yet, but I, I do want to show you, while I still can, the... Uh, iOS version and surprisingly it is accessible with voiceover for the most part I really don't have any trouble doing everything that I need to do uh, it works very well so uh, I'll start at the uh, I'll start at the upper left again global flyout menu global Button. flyout menu we'll get to that here shortly but that will basically pop open a huge menu that will allow us to jump between several different areas of the steam app I'll flick to the right catalog Right now, when Steam starts, you basically you just start up in the catalog, which is where we are now. Search bar button. Button. I can search for a particular game. Pull down to refresh. Last refreshed. Nine selected. Featured. Button. And four. unlike a lot of other iOS apps, they're kind of sticking to how they do it in the actual desktop version of Steam. They have their tabs across the top of the window. So we have featured, which is what we're on right now. New. Button. New Two games, four. new games, popular, Button. popular, Three four. specials, Button. and specials. Four four. So those are your main topics or your main categories for your catalog, um, and that covers pretty much everything you really need to know. And so below your categories, we're still on the featured tab, and if I tap right below it, there's kind of a large section. It's like a little banner advertising. Outlast, Lick Games of Tycoon, Link. Image. Total War trademark sign. Rome 2. Link. So what Image. it's doing is it's refreshing these banners Link. for Link. different Image. featured games. Tom Clancy Splinter Cell Blacklist. Link. Image. Contraption. Made. And I'm going to move to something else so it quits talking automatically. But you notice that as each one of those banners changes and a voiceover has focus on there it will jump, it will switch focus, and it will tell you what that new game is. And if at any time I can just quickly double tap on the screen and it'll take me right to that store, uh, right to that page. Below the little rotating banners there, you have a section, the rest of the page is pretty much just this um, list of games for whatever category you're on. So right now we're on the featured tab, uh, you know, we, like I said, you have the popular, the new releases, the specials. And the way this section works is you do have some inaccessible but, um, images here, but it's not a big deal because you can still get around the app no problem. So I'm going to touch the left side of the screen here just below the banner. Capsule 184x69 JPG. Okay, yeah. so we get these capsule image here. <coughs> Let me flick to the right. Contraption Maker. Contraption Maker, that's a game. $9.99. Okay. Capsule 184x69. JPG. There's our next game. So just remember that the capsule, the pictures are on the left, and the actual descriptions and prices are on the right. Call of Duty registered sign. Ghosts. Okay. $59.99. Capsule 180. Kerbal Space Program. $22.99. Capsule 184. Castle of Illusion. $14.99. Capsule 108, Football Manager 2004, 49, Capsule 1, Castlevania, Lords of Shadow, Ult 29, Capsule 108, Borderlands 2. So it's pretty easy to jump through uh, these different games. And basically, like I said, the rest of the page is just, you just keep going through and seeing what these prices are. Um, let's Popular. go to Button. specials, specials here. Selected, specials, 4 of 4. Selected. Special. Selected. Special. Okay, there four we go. It was taking a while for it to actually refresh. So, uh, the banner thing where that refreshes that was on the featured page is gone, and now you just have... Capsule 184x69 JPG. The left image. and right. Uh, you have the capsule on the left, the picture on the left, and then you have the descriptions on the right. So I'm going to flick through a couple of these. The Walking Dead. Minus 75%. $24.99, $6.24, Sniper Elite, Nazi Zombie Army, minus 70%, $14.99, $6.24, $6.24, $6.24, $6.24, $6.24, $6.24, $6.24, $6.24, $6.24, $6.24, $6.24, $6.24, $6.24, $6.24, $6.24, $6.24, $6.24, $
$4.49. Amnesia, a machine for pigs, minus 20%. $19.99, $15.99, The Walking Dead, 400 days. Now that's actually really interesting because it actually started skipping the left, uh, the panels, which is kind of weird. But you re all I was doing is flicking to the right and you notice that it would tell you the name of the game. It would tell you what percentage it was off. So there were a few that were 75% off. There was one that was like 10 or 20% off. Um, and then it'll tell you the, the regular price. And then the second price is your sale price. So, um, you know, it's really easy to find out how much it's going to cost you there. So if I actually want to go to one of these games, the Walking Dead. let's go to The Walking Dead because the that game Dead. is amazing. And for six, seven dollars, you can get the whole season right now. So if, um, anytime you get a chance to pick this game up, definitely do it because it's awesome. It's really, really good. And I will have to cover it on my channel at some point. Now, unfortunately... One thing I do notice sometimes is that sometimes the app runs Cancel. really good, Button. and sometimes it's kind of slow. And now, here's a good example of um, they do ask for age verification before. Please enter your age. Uh, before going in. You must confirm that you are old enough to view the content on this page. September picker item adjustable. So you have these picker items, Slide which is kind of an one finger to adjust the value, which is an iOS kind of uh, a deal here. So let's just say August, I, July, June, June, peak eight, peak around seven, six, five, four, three, three. Okay. So I could go to that and then there's a done button done. up in button. the right corner. I could pick the year. Cancel. I won't tell button. you guys my exact birthday. So amnesia, a machine, you know, black ink. You can't use it against me. <laughs> but, uh, Back button. so we'll just go to another one here. So Steam has actually started in fairly recent months. They've started introducing other, a uh, few different applications that you can get through Steam, not just games. So like there's a, there's a budgeting app. This is apparently some kind of like a... Black Ink is a new, non-realistic GPU-based painting application that, instead of imitating traditional tools, brings new inspirations to every artist. Yeah, that's it. that's what it is. Um, I'll just let it tell you what it is. So yeah, that's what this uh, this item is. I can add to wish list. Add to wish list. If I flick right again, screenshots. I can get screenshots. I can go down below that. By Black Ink. Heading I could buy it. Minus fifty five percent. Ninety nine dollars and ninety eight cents. Owie, that's an expensive one. $44.99. Okay, 50, well, 50% 50 off. If you really need a program, that's a good price to buy it at now. ADD to cart. So Link. I could add to cart, and I have purchased several games and things on, on the mobile Steam app, so that process does work very well. I don't have a problem doing that. And again, you can buy it for yourself, or you can gift it to somebody else. Page two of five. And then I use my three finger flick down and I get a whole bunch of other information. So I get a few paragraphs about the game or about the app. Um, if I Not keep scrolling three. down, Tutorials. vertical line. GPU rendering. they have like, you know, key feature sections, which gives you a bullet pointed list of the features that are in that app that they're highlighting or the Page game that they're highlighting. Five. And then you get some information like publisher and release date. And then you get the important system requirements area. So you want to find out if your rig can actually handle said game. Uh, you can check it out right down system here. System requirements. Windows XP. SP3. Processor. Graphics. One gigabyte RAM. Graphic card with support so, yeah. of pixel shader 3.0 and 512. Anyway, yeah. So you get the idea of the system requirements. So that is kind of Catalog. how a page Dashboard. looks for a game or for a title. Button. I'm going to go to this global flyout menu button here and quickly jump profile. to a couple of, couple of areas where I like to, how I like to use this app. So friends. I've got a social area up here in this menu. I can go to my friends page, see what they're doing. I can even initiate a little text chat with them if I want to, which I have done once or twice and it kind of works. I, I it, it was a little glitchy for a while, but I think it maybe have improved accessibility wise since then, but I, I, I admittedly I don't really do a lot of the social stuff on my phone, groups. so I can't speak to that as well. Same with groups, you can join groups, so if you have a group of friends you want to have in your own group, or you're joining a clan, or maybe there's a website that you like, um, that you can belong to their group. Friend activity. 
Friend activity, pretty self-explanatory. Tells you what they've been playing, what they bought, that kind of deal. Store section. Dim. Store section, that's where we were. Catalog. Or the catalog, that's where we were looking at so far. Wish list. Wish list, pretty self-explanatory. Same kind of interface, but just tells you what games you have on your wish list that you want to buy later, or wait till they're on sale, whatever. Cart. Cart, um, tells you what you got in your cart, obviously. Let you check out and buy your items. Search. I can search for a game. Newsfeed section. Newsfeed section. This is where I like to go Steam sometimes. News. So if I go to Steam News, Global uh, flyout menu. I like Button. checking this area because what it does is I get just a whole list of different things I can go to. So I my can news. go my news. Announcements. Announcements. This will tell me about like daily deals, um, events that are coming up or that are happening, any kind of main thing that they're going to be talking about in there. You basically you get like a little heading. Uh, some a couple paragraphs of text and then a screenshot heading couple to paragraphs of text screenshot so not only do I get the um, the list of what's in there but I can get a little bit more information without having to click through to a specific uh, an, another page client update client updates when steam itself gets an update you can find out what's new in there press releases press releases I don't go in there much Product releases. Product releases. I do go here though, and just like the uh, releases, Steam news. Um, button. Just like the announcements section, if it'll load here. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, now it's deciding to load very slowly, and that's one thing that I will say does happen to me sometimes. Is sometimes it runs great, and sometimes it just runs really slowly. Um, I think they need to optimize it a little bit more. But that said, accessibility-wise, it does work really well. And right now it's looking like it's not wanting to load for me. Thank you very much, Steam. Oh, there it goes. So... New DLC available. Sanctum 2. Ruins of Brighton. Here's the format that they use. So they've got their, their title here. September 6, 2013. Act Sanctum 2. Ruins of all new content for Sanctum 2. Is now available on Steam. Explore the dark depths of the slums of Brython. This expansion adds four new maps that will once again brutally challenge your maze building abilities. Play with the new unlockable towers such as the... So yada yada gives me some information about it. I'll use my three, my three finger flick. Now available. Safe house. Diaries. Safe house. If I wanted to read more about that, I could just kind of flick or move my finger down and read about it. I don't really Page care. Now available. Black ink. 55% off. There's that black ink program that just came out. Page four of 23. Uh, now available, Rise of Flight, Channel Battles Edition. So you get the idea. It tells you about what new releases are out, both DLC and actual full games. Steam News, back button. So, you know, I mean, there, there are Global a few other menu. things that this button. app does. Um, this is really the main area. I use the catalog, the search, and especially this screen here quite a bit. I don't really do a lot of the social stuff on the phone, um, but it does support some of that. I'm not so sure about like the new things like you know when they do the the community like the gifting or the trading cards and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if that has been implement implemented FX yet. Rack. But um yeah, it it FX is available and it works really well overall with voiceover. The other thing that I'll wrap up by saying is that one thing that I really like is that you can if you purchase a game or you, you have pre-ordered a game and you know that it comes out today or whatever, I could be at work, search for the game, find it, and if I have my computer running with Steam at home, I can tell it to remotely install the game from my phone. I can tell it, hey, install this so that when, I'm, when I get home, it's ready to go, and I can play the game. And uh, I've done that a few times. It's been very, very cool, very helpful. So... That's just yet another thing that they've added that I really like. So that is the mobile version of Steam for iOS. It is available for free in the App Store right now. You just have to have a Steam account to log in to use it, obviously. But uh, overall, like I said, surprisingly, it works very well with VoiceOver. And I uh, hope you guys find it useful. So until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Stop.